Stoss 23 here. Today's Night Therapy, I got three new Kaiser knives to show y'all. These two right here are the uh, Sheepdog. This is the, the regular size Sheepdog. This is the Mini. And I own several of these because I love the Sheepdog. I think it's a great knife. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if they ever had this one before, but I'll tell you what, I am loving it. This is the Sheepdog XL. And I, I don't know if they've had this one with the gray with a non-flipper thumb hole. And yeah, it's a beast. And no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But now I have the whole family. And I think this one's going to be a pretty pocketable knife. Uh, it's a massive knife. Like I said, <laughs> when I'm choked up, I got a whole bunch. And even when I'm choked back, I still got a whole bunch. Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly the blade. I would think it's about a four inch blade. Uh, 154 cm they're they're good looking black washed you get contoured black linen micarta scales on your deep carry pocket clip the inset that clip and the screws and just listen to this thing watch oh you're not gonna bet up you're not gonna better here but it just makes this thwack when it opens and uh, yeah, I started using this the other day, and I love the I love the grind on the full size, and I'm sure this one is even thinner, but it comes down to a pretty thin edge because of that tall grind. This one has a much better geometry than the mini. Um, it's because you don't have as much width there. This one's kind of thick behind the edge. But these, these two perform really nice. Uh, I know this one's thin. I haven't really checked this one yet. But this is the first new one that I uh, got the other day. And yeah, this is definitely going to be in my rotation. I just, I've been enjoying carrying the bigger knives. And this one's one that, it's it's a heavy knife. But uh, I, I, it's not the most um, unpocketable knife that I, I carry. Uh, I mean, no, let's check out the weight on it real quick. Just because I haven't even thought about checking it because it hasn't bothered me any. So we'll check in grams first because that's what pops up first. Uh, 240.5 grams. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a big knife too though. 8.48 ounces. It's a pocket chunker. It's going to take up a lot of pocket space. And, you know, it's not my go-to EDC knife by any means. But it's starting to get a little cooler. We have a cool front right now in Louisiana and uh, i was able to wear jeans today so this one actually made it in the pocket i definitely knew i had a knife in the pocket there's no ifs ands or buts about it <laughs> but uh it's manageable um and while we have these out we also got another new uh mini sheepdog in and check this out this one is in the new Rafir noble scales and the only time I've ever handled uh, these type of scales before were uh, on the Spyderco Chaparral. And this particular one has a satin blade with S35VN blade steel, contoured, uh, Rafir Noble scales. I, I think, from what I remember, is that it's like uh, copper wiring or something infused into epoxy. It just it looks it looks a lot cooler than I thought it did in pictures, and something I I didn't expect is whenever you rub your fingers on here, you can feel it's not like you know uncomfortable or anything, but you can feel those lines where that that uh, copper is uh, infused in there. You can actually feel it. Hopefully that's coming across. You can see that micro milling there. I like that inset stainless steel liners they went with the milled titanium clip on that i have one on this one um, you could buy these from way of knife they sell the clip by itself so i bought a few of them from them to put on a few knives uh, whenever i was doing chop mods and stuff like that i'd use those sometimes because it's a good little clip but that's what they went with on this one so basically you have the same knife except S35 VN instead of 154 here and the Revere Noble scales. Uh, these these right here originally come with uh, this like bent over clip like that and I just upgraded it. So that's the first two, the uh, XL and the Mini Sheepdog. And 
I definitely have a, a pretty large collection of sheepdogs. If y'all want me to do a video on all my different sheepdogs, y'all let me know and I'll try to get that put together. The last one I, I was pretty excited about because I think it fits this knife, but we have another set of for fear noble scales, but this is on the bag letter two button lock. This one really, really pops because you have that long scale. And I, I think it fits this knife very, very well because it, it already has like a classy looking knife blade shape, in my opinion, especially with the satin blade. This one is also an S35VN. The original button lock bag letter too was, uh, is in 154CM. I have one of those as well with the linen micarta scales. Uh, this one, <clears throat> yeah, I, I could definitely see myself carrying this whenever I'm going somewhere nice. Uh, the weight on it, it's nice and lightweight. Button lock works well. It's very smooth, snappy action. Um, <clears throat> I've been doing the testing on the uh, 154CM version and yeah it, it performs outstanding it's a full flat grind pretty much you got just a little bit of a flat up here but it's kind of like a slicer grind because it goes into full flat up here in the front comfortable in hand deep carry pocket clip that is tip up left or right hand carry yeah just overall really cool design let's get a weight on this one because it feels very light for its size 95 0.3 grams and 3.3 ounces. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's a featherweight um, No matter how you look at it and Yeah, I think this is an awesome one. A Azo design here And I'll get y'all a close-up look at this Refere noble scales They're They're kind of it's translucent like with like a smoke color almost and then you have these pops of uh, this pattern in here. I'll have to do some more research on that. But yeah, I know some people really, really love it. I, I'll tell you one thing that you can get a good shot of that micro milling there too. I'll tell you one thing. I prefer the look of this over the chaparral because the Spyderco chaparral because the scales on that one, they did a, a high polish to the scales to the epoxy. And I just, it looked to me, it looked kind of cheesy, but you know, if you like it, that's cool. This, it just wasn't my thing. With this, with that satin look to it, it's kind of like a smoky haze look. I think it looks really cool. And anybody that I've showed this to this weekend was pretty much blown away. They all expect this to be like a two to three hundred dollar knife. I'm not sure exactly what these are going for, or if they're even out yet. But you got shadow box scales, ball bearing action, snappy action, nice button lock. You got a recess button lock for safety. You have to go below that line to disengage that button lock. As you can see, it's got to go below that. So you shouldn't disengage it on accident from squeezing it or anything. So yeah, that is the new uh, Kaisers that... I got in the other day let me know what y'all think and let me know if y'all want to see a full review on any one of these um, I doubt I'll do a full review on this one just because you know there's been so many reviews and I, I've even reviewed the mini sheepdog a long time ago uh, but if y'all want to see a review on one of these two I'm currently testing the 154 cm version of this so it, it's probably not gonna be a super priority right now but if that's something y'all want to see i can make it happen all right guys and girls if you have any questions comments concerns please leave them down below i hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day i will see y'all on the next one peace